Welcome to University of Chimera Stadium in steamy Tombstone, Arizona, where the only thing hotter than the heat is the ceaseless sinning. The players are ready to rock the red zone and red light district tonight. Let's go down to the field for kickoff. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Cardinal sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pink flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramming his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Third down and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Good thing they have a drug testing in the NFL because whatever they juice that player with to make him run that fast, no return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. the ball into the defense picking up seven <laughs> second and three by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and nine. Finishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four yard pick up there. Second 
second down and six. Fans are looking a bit bored. After a quarter with no score, they're cheering on the refs. <laughs> At least someone's moving the ball. Second down and two. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. That's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's another pick. Man, oh man, the if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. When the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. Second down and ten. Down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. And we're at the two-minute warning.
Second down and two. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third and two. Was. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> if they don't pick it up here, the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Oh, and the ref just bought himself one more play of life with some moves that would put some of our Hall of Famers to shame. Oh, good. That gives me time to get odds on him. Someone give me a phone. They are going for it, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ant spider. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four the doctors and Zap, Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. There are Welcome to the Croyd Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Roy Burger heart. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Boy, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And he scores! Can't tell if this is a seizure or a celebration. Either way, the fans are loving it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, nice hit! The quarterback goes into 
a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. I'd be awkward. I'd be awkward. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Oh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. We're the coast. Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glass? I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was a freight cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, so close, but not today. First down and nine. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. I'm a house I am a Third down and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Yeah, yeah man, I was hanging on the now. You know, man. 
<laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third down and nine. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff bison head in his bed tonight. The return man catch. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yes. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And that'll be second and eight to go. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. If I'm adding anything, really tastes good. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all-you-can-eat buffets, they're not as literal as you'd think. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grin. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving him a size while we're broadcasting, Grim. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Uh, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably show up on the radar. 
Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. Now, just when I thought only noobs would go for it on fourth for no real reason, they convert. But did they just get really lucky? Stay tuned. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a bait with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole on her lip either. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. And the offense, it's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. The offense defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten to you. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives. Huh, Grim? You know, you just... 
just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. And that'll bring up... Th the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and kill. And that'll be their final timeout. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Well, that's the end of his day. Looks like he had a bad case of the worms. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. You've got to catch that. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? One big first down. The QB needs to stop kissing his linemen and get back to the line of scrimmage. First down and three. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. In his galaxy, Amish 5, dancing is prohibited by penalty of public stoning. So he really enjoys getting a chance to show off his stuff. He can strut. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. Ladies and mutants is how you recover an onside kick. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and a very lot. The Sins come away with a sinful loss. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. Hey, okay, back you. Come on, I'm going up, get up, get up. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every...